Hello well, guys, this is Jacko from Muddy Tiger Outdoors and as the title suggests, today we're going to review and talk about a pillow and this is a camp pillow or a backpacker's pillow or a hiker's pillow, whatever you want to call it. It's a super lightweight, uh, super compact and very, very nice to use pillow. So let's go ahead and take it out of the pouch and I'll tell you guys all about it. So as a hiker or a backpacker or a camper or anybody that spends uh, some time outdoors and likes to spend a few nights outdoors, what do we look for in a pillow? What do we look for in the gear that we carry or the gear that we use? Well, if you're going to be doing some walking, uh, at least more than five miles, we like it to be uh, you know, lightweight. We don't want to carry you know, 30, 40, 50 pounds. We like everything to be as low weight as possible and of course, the lighter weight your gear is, the more expensive it, uh, it, it tends to get. You know, tarps, tents, um, chairs, cookware, you name it. Uh, this pillow um, definitely fits the bill except for the price. Uh, this pillow was made by somebody very special to me, uh, Mrs. Parker Rich. She really did a great, fantastic job making this uh, pillow. She actually has a video and I watched her video uh, this is kind of the first time I saw this uh, specific uh, uh, type of pillow that she makes. Um, and that became really interesting because of A, the materials, the way it looked. Of course, the OD green definitely appealed to me. And just basically the way it put, uh, she put it together. She's very, very talented. She's very creative. Uh, she makes a number of things. But this is what we're going to be talking about today. Um, now, when you look at something like this, uh, it kind of gives you the sensation that is a little bit scratchy because of the way it sounds. That's kind of the impression that I got from watching that video. But when I got it in the mail and when I opened it up and I took it out of its pouch, I was very, very surprised by one thing and one thing only, and that was the softness of the material, the texture of the material. It's very soft against your skin, against your face. And that's what makes, uh, or one of the things that make uh, this pillow great. It's very soft, uh, very compact, very uh, plush once it you know, fills up with, uh, with a little bit of air after taking it out of the pouch. Um, I've carried this uh, in my backpack since, since I got it. I've used it. Uh, you've probably seen, if you follow the channel, you've probably seen me use it in a number of videos, um, you know, whether I'm uh, camping in the backyard or hiking or, or just doing whatever, I definitely take this with me because it's not only a pillow, you can actually sit on it. If you have uh, no grass or nothing soft to, to, to sit on, uh, this definitely can uh, serve as a seat and it's very durable too. Uh, let me show you what's inside of here. You can actually open uh, the main compartment into the pillow with Velcro. And this is what she puts in there. And I, to be honest, I don't know what kind of foam this is, but it's uh, it's it's very very durable. It holds its shape. It doesn't lose its uh, uh, you know uh, plushness, I guess if you can call it that. Um, now she told me to keep this outside of its pouch when in storage, and I've kind of failed to do that. Uh, but you know, at the same time, it kind of shows you that I can actually uh, be okay without you know, taking it out of its pouch. It, it's actually okay because it doesn't lose its shape. So that's actually good quality foam. I don't know where she got it, but it's definitely the right type of uh, material. And of course, she does a great job at uh, stitching the uh, pillow. It's double stitched there. And of course, the Velcro is stitched. And throughout where you see it, it's a, a very high quality, a lot of time and effort put into these um, uh, pillows. It's a very simple item. But it's something that it's a must have if you like to spend uh, some time out in the woods or if you like to spend a night or two out in the woods. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's one of those things that as a hiker, as a backpacker, you have to have. And trust me, I've tried so many different things. I've tried, you know, from no pillow to bundling up a sweatshirt, from inflatable pillows to some other stuff. And... To be honest, this is the very first one that I feel is comfortable enough to continue to use it to, for me to want to, to, to keep using it because it is that good.
Now, another very nice thing about this pillow is that, you know, if you are a ground uh, sleeper, if you like to sleep in a mat or if you like to sleep on the floor, um, in a tent, um, whatever you want to uh, use, this is definitely a very comfortable pillow to do so. It's thick enough. It's, I would say, probably about just a little bit uh, two inches thick. Um, so it definitely uh, helps and works for what it's supposed to. But at the same time, if you like to hang, if you're a, a hammock sleeper, um, it definitely does the trick as well. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to find a good pillow for a hammock. Uh, what I've done for years is, you know, usually just, just a sweatshirt and put it, just kind of ball it up behind your head and kind of try to support the neck a little bit uh, because sometimes you can be in an in a awkward position, especially if you don't hang your hammock uh, properly. Um, it can be a little awkward as far as uh, sleeping, you know, for a number of hours. Now, with this, what is nice about this pillow is when you hang, it kind of cradles your head in, in position in your neck, so it's very supportive. You know, if you want to sleep, um, you know, facing up, you know, this is definitely the way to do it. Your head is not moving about. If you need to move, it can definitely move. If you're a side sleeper in a hammock, which is uh, doable, it'll do the same thing. You can actually lay it flat and, you know, it'll, it'll uh, support your neck and your head, uh, which is very important. Sometimes when you're sleeping in a hammock, um, your shoulder compresses weird or you don't quite get the same um, comfortable position that you would get as if you were sleeping on the ground or in an inflatable mattress. But this pillow definitely makes it a lot easier to support your head and have a proper night's sleep. And um, I think I used this three or four times uh, sleeping overnight in a hammock. And, you know, it's, it's almost like having your own little, uh, you know, uh, a cradle position for your head because, you know, once you're comfortable, that's it. You don't need anything else. Uh, so this uh, pillow definitely um, uh, did the trick. Now, I'm not sure if Mrs. Parker Rich is uh, producing these at a large scale. I don't think so because when she makes something, she makes it with a lot of love. Uh, she puts a lot of time and effort. It's it's quality stuff what she makes. Um, I think she makes some uh, wool hats, uh, uh, some wool um, mittens and socks and stuff like that. And this is kind of one of those things that she's made in a very limited uh, quantity or a very small quantity. I was kind of lucky to get one of these. Um, and of course, you know, I told her I was going to make a video out of this and, and uh, you know, uh, mention that maybe she may uh, be able to make uh, a few of these if you guys are interested. So, if you guys are interested in one of these awesome pillows, I'll definitely post a link uh, to Mrs. Parker Ridge or the Parker Ridge's channel. Uh, Jason and Chris, um, they have an awesome channel, by the way. If you guys want to go check them out, they're always uh, doing something outdoors, uh, hiking, backpacking, uh, camping. They go to Arkansas a lot, and, and, and you can see a lot of beautiful scenery in their channel. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, absolutely go check them out. It's actually one of my favorite channels, so uh, I really appreciate uh, Jason and Chris um, as, as friends. So uh, definitely go check them out. And also, I'm going to post a link to... Um, uh, their Facebook page, you know, just in case you want to contact them or, or make friends with them. They're one of the most friendliest uh, people that I've ever met, so uh, excellent people to know. But uh, the pill is what we're talking about today. So. so if you're interested in one of these, ask her. She may be able to sell you one, make you one, and sell you one. Uh, whatever arrangements you can uh, make with her. Now, this is not something that is mass uh, produced or, or produced on a large scale. Uh, that's why it's very, very special to me, and that's why I definitely cherish it and value it for what it is. Well, guys, like always, um, I really appreciate you watching the videos. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for leaving a comment. If you like the video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. You guys take care.